Alright, just got the, uh, the Z coaster. We are at the best place in the world, Marysville Skate Park. And I just got to ride. Just got to ride the hubs for like uh, half an hour. And uh, I get used to them, so there's a few things I like and a few things I don't like about it. The thing I like is that it's a free coaster, and you can roll backwards without pedaling. Things I don't like is the that, the slack, like free engaging is like a lot. But like if I put less than that, then it'll disengage on me when I don't want it to, and we don't want that. Basically, how it works is when you pedal, you just follow me. When you pedal, it's a cassette. You know, you can, you can fish crank with it like a cassette, but as soon as you back pedal to that point, that disengagement point, then it's a free coaster, and then you can roll backwards and do all that stuff. Now, if you, do, if you go fakie with it engaged, Typically, you back pedal faster than the hub allows, so it'll just disengage anyway. So, like, and it's already disengaged. So you can't really do like uh, fakey manuals, like a, like on a cassette, like how you bitch crank them. You can't really do that. All right. Okay, maybe you can, but you cannot. Oh dang, dude! Look at this. Everyone. All right. All right. So basically, when you get the hub, you get a couple different options. You get the. the the, we'll go over here where it's less noisy. You come a little closer. You don't be shy. All right, so when you get the hub, you get to pick your uh, your amount of slack. And I have 75%, which is a fifth of a crank. It's like right in between all the options you can get. And basically, I'll show you. Come close. Come close. Mine has 75% of slack. The more you get, the uh, the further back you have to backpedal to disengage it. Go to this, let's go to this corner. It might, be, it might be quieter in this corner. Let's go in this corner. Come, come close. Come close. There's too much money behind you. All right. So the amount of slack is, is the amount of time until it disengages. That's that's a fifth of a crank. You can get it on Profile's website. They tell you what each degree means. So if it's a fifth of a crank, a fourth of a crank, like an eighth of a crank, and they they go on and on. There's a bunch of different options. But basically, what that means is that fifth of a crank is a fifth of a crank to disengage it, and then a fifth of a crank to reengage it. So. Fifth of a crank to disengage, fifth of a crank to re-engage. So that's that's the only thing I don't like is all that time that it takes to re-engage it. So you have to like ride it like a free coaster so that it, you know it's not slipping. And uh, same. Oh my God. Same thing if you're pedaling up to a ramp like I did a couple times. I'd go to do fakie and I'd stop here and it would stay in cassette mode and I'd do like a 180 and it would still be in cassette mode. So that's definitely something I have to get used to. Like I said, this is my very first day riding it. I'm not used to it whatsoever. So. We're gonna we're gonna ride it a little longer, but that's my very first impressions. Uh, I really like it because it's like I like the concept of it. I've done tire taps and stuff. The other thing I don't like is that you can't really like like normally on a cassette, I'll back pedal and then crank into the ramp. Oh yeah. But you can't do this on this. Or you can, but you can't back pedal that far because normally I back pedal about here and then I crank again. But like I'm expecting it to to lift up and then go in. But once I back pedal to that point, it just disengages. So that's one thing that you have to get used to. But if you like riding free coasters and you still want to be able to like have instant engagement, this is probably the way to go. And uh, also, you don't have to worry about it when you're faking. It's not going to engage on you. Alright, so I'm going to ride a little bit more and get, get used to it a little bit more. Uh, and then I'll kind of like, once I'm actually used to it, I'll uh, give you more of a... Uh, I'll ride more park. I've been riding street using the free coaster version, so now I'm going to ride a little bit more park and use more of the cassette options. And uh, then I'll come back to you once I do that. And so, so far I like it. It's worth worth the price I paid for it so far. We'll, uh, we'll keep going. Hopefully it gets better. Alright, so I tried to jump like this. And then pedal to this, but it disengaged on this. So like that's something you gotta get used to as well. You can't like crank up the stuff that's really close if you wanna go fakie. A jumping box jumps and it kept disengaging and then re-engaging and it was kind of upsetting me. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm not used to the hub, but I'm hoping that that goes away. But first impressions, that's a, uh, and I imagine if you uh, increase the slack on it, that wouldn't be as big of a deal because you'd have more room to move your feet around. But I don't really think I want any more slack, so. Okay, so this video that you're watching is about a week from right where I am now. And uh, I've rolled the hub a little bit more and I'm a little bit more used to it. 
So don't take this video as a, oh, this hub sucks. Um, I'm getting more used to it. So I'm gonna make another video kind of explaining it now that I'm used to it and how to like, how to actually use it to its full potential. Hope you like this video. We're gonna post the other one. There's a link in the description and then I'm gonna throw it up on the screen at the very end for the other video. And if you were like debating on whether or not you wanted this hub and this video kind of took that standard down here and now you, you're not thinking you want it, watch the next one because the next one might bring you up here. And click the like button below if you want to see more like Z Coaster specific stuff because I like doing the Z Coaster videos and there's not a lot out there. So like I'm, I'm totally down to do it if you guys want to see that. So let me know and until next time we will see you later. And it don't take a lot of back talk to push me into flaming them like that little Damien block 19 to my motherfucking cranium. Game pack gun-toting motherfucker. Niggas in the grave thought Biggie was a sucker.